Well, thank you, Zach. And we are joined now by Joyce Tracy from the Apollo Career Center. And uh, an exciting time of the year for you guys as school year is kind of winding down, but there's a very important summer session that is coming up. That's right. We can hardly believe that we're already through, almost through with this year. We have one more orientation that is coming, and it's the first week of June. So that'll be the end, and then we'll shut down for July and restart in August. So we still will we'll be back. And of course, we're talking about the, the GED program among those. Is there a typical GED student anymore? Um, there is, you know, that finally, usually around 26, they see that life is dictating that they need to, to get that high school diploma. So yes, you know, around 26, but no, we serve everyone from, you know, 18 to we've had 80 year olds. So it's never too late. And certainly the continuing adult education, a major part of the program as well. That's right. You know, we prepare students for post-secondary. So we have an array of classes in the adult ed program, manufacturing, uh, anything medical. And these are in-demand jobs. So our students need to be prepared because if you've heard, there's jobs coming. And, um, but they need to be prepared to be that good um, employee. So they need to get some background, some education as well. Have there been some students that have come along that have maybe blown your mind a little bit going, wow, I, I can't believe he or she at this advanced age is coming back and finishing up their education? Mm -hmm. We always have students that sur surprise us. Right now, one of our students has came through as a GED, ended up going through our welding program, and he is now teaching welding. Hmm. So who knew, you know, that he could have such a big future? And in fact, you know, he also has reached out and is doing some government jobs. So he's just not right here in Lima. He has truly, you know, taken his uh, newfound certificate and has really grown with it. Speaking of Lima, we know summer is a season of construction and certainly the last year has been a lot of construction at Apollo, but the, the lights at the end of the tunnel down there? Mm -hmm. We are getting close. <laughs> I, I almost think we're more than halfway there. Um, it has been you know, topsy-turvy, and if you come out, you know, it is definitely construction at its finest, but we're still in business. The high school students are finishing up this week, and of course the adult ed program will still be going strong through, through the summer as well. It hasn't stopped us. How much more time do folks have to sign up for orientation begins? We just ask that our students drop in to orientation. They don't even have to call or sign up, but if they would like to go to the websites that are going to be shown, uh, the ApolloCareerCenter.com or um, also Vantage. Uh, right now we are serving over five counties. So we're in Allen, Auglaise, Mercer, Paulding, and Van Wert counties. So there's five of them and we're out there so if you go to the websites, it's the best place to find the information, or you can always call um, Apollo as well, and we can help kind of guide you in the right <laughs> direction. And also another part of the, the program is the English second language aspect yes. as well. Our ESOL program is just a wonderful class where we bring um, students in with a lot of different backgrounds that need help uh, working with their English and uh, reading, writing, listening, all of those things. We're going to have a big picnic on the 27th, just as our culminating activity. But just so everyone knows that, that that program is there, it's a wonderful program, and the students really find a lot of success as well. You kind of touched on it earlier, but it seems like every week or every few weeks we hear about more new jobs coming to the Allen County area. How are you guys helping folks connect with those jobs? Well, what we do, of course, is work with students with basic skills. So anything, any job application many of them have or certificate program, they have to do some testing to be able to get into some of those programs. We can help with that. We can also prepare our students for the GED, um, push them on to post-secondary. What do they want to do with the rest of their lives? We can help them with that. We call that our transition program. We can set them down and help them figure it out. So we do a lot. We wear a lot of hats just within the APL program. All right, thank you very much, Joyce Tracy from Apollo Career Center. Of course, for more information, you can head it to their website. Well, three years ago, it was a startup dream. Two weeks ago, the Christian radio station Shine FM moved into their fourth year of ministry in the Logan and Hardin County regions. Jennifer joined them for their special celebration as they thank the Lord for an opportunity to be a beacon of Christ's light through the radio airwaves.